Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and I've got Initex USB 3.0 Dual SATA HDD docking station. This is USB 3.0, four terabyte supported. It's got offline clone, and it supports the 2.5 or 3.5 inch HDD or SSD drives. Now I'm going to use this with my MacBook, but obviously you can use this with pretty much any kind of computer setup that supports this kind of connection. So just to take a look around the packaging real quick before we get it all opened up. If you're interested, you can pause this screen and give you some more specs, but basically what I've already told you. And if you want more information, you can go to intertech.com. Now this is the information that you really want to know about. It's got all the features listed here. So you can again, pause this, but I'm going to go over these real quick. It supports offline duplicate function. You got copy all data or system files onto your target disk by pressing one simple button. It accepts the cards that we already talked about. It's got read and write hard drivers at the same time. So it's pretty cool stuff. It's got some nice features here that are gonna be very useful for you if you got these kind of cards. So let's go ahead and get this on opened up and connected so we can see what it, how it works. So here's the drive itself. We'll put it off to the side, see what else it comes with. We got our cable, USB cable, and then we also have our power connection. And that's about it. You got some more paperwork in there, but I'm not really concerned about that right now. Let's take a look around the product itself before we get it all plugged up. It's got a pretty minimal design. It's pretty lightweight, not much weight to it at all. Here's your USB 3.0 connection, your power, and your switch. And you got some rubber stoppers here on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on you. And here's your two slots. Then here are your LED indicators to show that you've got your power and then A. And B, you got your clone button here with one click. This also shows you your percentages. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the power source. We got that. Next step is to take the USB 3.0 cable that's provided. Plug it into your USB connection on your computer. And then we're gonna get our connection over here. I do want to point out that the cables that are provided do actually feel pretty quality. This is very durable feeling and it's got some good length to it as well. So this is the drive that I'm going to use. This was actually in my MacBook before, but I upgraded it. So this is my old one, which is really nice actually, because I can actually use this now that I have a dock. I got some more gigs and storage to use if I want to, so I can use this as a good backup disk. This actually has a full backup of my laptop on here. I do want to show you, but pardon my shakiness, but I just picked up my camera so I could show you the inside of this. Try to get the light in there to show you where the connection is at. So what you're going to do is get your drive and you're going to match it up to the connections here. So make sure that you get it connected really well and that you're not going to be able to, you know, you know, jack anything up by not putting it in the right spots. So that's what it looks like on the inside and it's identical for both ports. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on in. Now that I showed you what it looks like on the inside, it's actually really easy. There we go. And so it's in there, and the last step is to turn it on. It's always good to hit that power button. When I turn it on, I definitely hear the disc starting to spin. And since I have this in the B slot, it's going to show up in the B slot here. And just to show you how it connected over here on my computer I'll drag this over to the part of the screen where you can see and there is the drive right there it actually says Macbain that's what I label my computer as so there it is it actually pops up relatively quick so which is really nice it's not a lag that much maybe just a I don't know two three seconds I saw it connect so it works pretty fast even with an older MacBook so here's what it looks like a little bit up close when it's all connected and you get your power light here it's in the B slot and you can hit your clone button here so that way you can make your copies or switch over file data and stuff like that. Now I only have one of these discs so I can't really use the clone thing just yet but when I do get a second disc like that to where I can do this, this clone basically, it, well like the word says it clones the disc so that's how that works so you would have to have two in there for it to work if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken please let me know in the comments. But this is the Initech Dual Hub. This is really cool to me because like, I'm gonna be able to use this disc now. I have a Seagate external hard drive, which I've been using that, that's got a terabyte on that. 
but it's always nice to have some extra storage laying around, especially for as many videos as I put out. I make a backup of all my videos, so it's really nice to have this now. I think this is a really cool tool, especially because it has two. You know, if you do need to expand, you don't have to necessarily move this one around. You can just plop the other one in there and you got some more storage. It's nice to free up a computer where you don't have to have all your files on the computer, you got it all on a disk. You know, have all your apps running on the computer and then have all your media over here on the disks. So yeah guys, this is pretty neat. I think you should check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks guys for watching. If you found that this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.